This is the way. This is the way. Yo, what is up, my knights of the round table? Welcome back to another... Wait for it. Below Battle! We got Samus Aaron versus... Dan Dejarn, a.k.a. The Mandalorian, a.k.a. Mando, a.k.a. Pedro Pascal, a.k.a. <laughs> no, I'm not going to keep that bit going, but as you guys know, I'm a big Star Wars geek. Star Wars is my first love, next to comic books. Uh, I was about four years old when I saw episode three and loved the series ever since. Uh, this is requested by Isaiah Marvel, so I'm very excited to get in this. I'm, going, I'm, I'm on Team Mando. Sorry, sorry, Samus fans, but I'm a Star Wars boy. Come on, Mando, I believe. Avenge Boba Fett's honor. I have claimed many bounties to make the galaxy feel threatened, but this one's too easy. Samus just an Aaron. Woo, this Samus just an Aaron. Oh, Aaron, okay. So this is the way. So this is the way. Oh my God, okay. Go in, baby. like you when you have zero suit time. I guess that armor isn't really helping you. For the longest time, people thought you were a dude. Yeah, There wasn't sure. any challenge I have fled, but take Ferret playing other M. That's a game I dread. Woo! Hard as best card. Don't try to be bold. I oh, hard as best card? I expected someone of your kind to act more aggressive. But honestly, you're kind. More impressive. Look at the bosses of battle. Why should I be afraid of a man from a group too cowardly to show the face? I think it's an it's honor thing. Screwed. I'm natural and chose a VNA and feed. Okay. So you got flow. Honey, you appear to book a bubble just for you to steal his thunder. When I drop in and leave on a plane, yeah. it's supposed to be sure when you do popular or not. Hmm. Hmm. I hate to interrupt Samus' disses, but mmm. Mmm, she cooking. She did steal Boba's thunder. Boba's my boy. Boba's my second favorite character. And that hurt. <laughs> that diss hurt me. That diss, that diss. Samus just dissed me. That was my one complaint about the show. Oh, oh, and it, mm, not Grogu. At least I was able to keep him alive. Your baby metric got blown to bits, saving you with his life. You lose your power. Woo, 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 woo. Talk your shit, Dan. Talk your shit. On the bitch, saving you with his life. You lose your power ups before you start a mission, and I'll get three more seasons before Prime Four is finished. Damn. The days your games aren't worth spending the credits. I just flamed your ass, just like Ridley did your best. Oh. Is that all? Oh. Like a Don't be too comparing for what happened when you met Joy. Whatever you do, I'll take a dark side you got. So your best girl stuff, but your joke goes out of one shot. I'm a damsel in distress. I'm always riding solo. Okay. You are seen to see her many times in the show. You got kicked up to trap, and your razor crest exploded. I've cleared my mission to quote Quail. I have spoken. I don't know. I think Dan made a hell of a comeback. I thought Samus had him cooked. Samus was coming in hot. First round, Samus was coming in hot, but I think Dan just clutched up. If you guys are new here, we break down the bars. We respect the fucking bars. We respect b in this house, damn it. A lot of y'all have been sleeping on b and I and it's pissing me off. All right, so, let's do this. Did Dan fucking make the clutch? I believe this is the way, Dan. This is the way. I have claimed many bounties to make the galaxy feel threatened, but this one's too easy. Samus is an Aaron. Okay, I've claimed many bounties. Uh, Dan is an accomplished bounty hunter that we see in The Mandalorian. Uh, he's been bounty hunting for over a decade. Uh, it's never really given a specific time frame, but we can assume it was over a decade. Uh, he's like one of the best bounty hunters after Boba, after, you know, Boba's died. Um, so Samus is just an Aaron. Uh, basically, he's saying that she's not important. She's not a big threat to him. She's just an Aaron, and this is a play on Samus' Aaron's name. Samus Aaron. Samus is just, just an Aaron. Samus is just an Aaron. So I got tongue-tied there. 
If this were a real job, I'd have already been paid. But it's a rap battle, so this is the. If this was a real battle, I would have already been paid because you get paid up front as a bounty hunter and you get paid after. I think that's usually how some jobs go. Uh, so this is the way. This is the way. Is the this is the way is the code of the Mandalorians. You know, this is this is the way. This is our way. Uh, this is the way. This is the way to win a rap battle. You got to diss your opponent. You got to stay in their jacket. All right. You gotta you gotta hit him. You gotta hit him with some mud scuffing bars. Breaking up my Star Wars cursing. The way your games are repetitive. You're bringing nothing new. It's clear fans only like you when you have zero suits. Huh? Uh, basically calling her games repetitive, saying that you recycled the same shit over and over, like Call of Duty. <laughs> um, uh, and fans only like you because of Zero Suit, because it's very, it's a very sexualized suit. I guess that armor isn't really helping you. For the longest time, people thought you were a dude. I guess that armor isn't really helping you for the longest time, people thought you were a dude. Because the end of Metroid 1 had, like, one of the biggest reveals in gaming. Was, it was at the end where she ditches the armor and it's revealed that Samus is actually a woman. There wasn't that many main female characters in video games at that time. This is, I think, the 80s or 90s. Uh, this is before, you know, the, your Laura Cross and them. Uh, and even the game manual hinted that Samus was a dude. So at the end of the game, to have it be revealed that Samus was a woman was a big reveal. So yeah, people thought she was a dude. There wasn't any challenge I have fled, but take fair playing Other M, that's a game I dread. Uh, Other M, uh... Make sure I get the game alright. Other M, I believe, was a terrible game. I never played it. I heard bad things about it. Um, Dank Ferric is a Star Wars curse. Uh, I'm not too sure what it would be translated to. I know Criff is fuck. <laughs> I, I, that's, a, that's my Star Wars. I know certain languages in Star Wars. M, that's a game I dread. I'm hard as best card. Don't try to be bold. I can take you in warm or I can take you in I'm hard as best card. Best card is the armor the Mandalorians wear. It's lightsaber. Re it's like the strongest metal. One of the strongest metals in Star Wars. It's lightsaber resistant, which is pretty fucking hard to come by. Uh, best card is considered a rare metal in the galaxy, but not as rare as a Mandalorian. Uh, take you in warm or take you in cold. This is Dan's most famous saying in the Mandalorian show. It's like one of the first words you hear him say is, I can take you in warm or I can take you in cold, dead or alive. Cold. I expected someone of your kind to act more aggressive, but honestly, Jane of Fett was more impressive. I think I'm going to get a drink here. Uh, Jane of Fett was more impressive. Jingle Fett got decapitated by Sam Jackson, Mace Windu. He got Mace windu Jingle lost his head. Quite literally. So that's a... Saying that Jingle Fett was more impressive, that's, that's, a, that's a dirty one. So look at the bosses of battle. Why should I be afraid of a man from a group too cowardly to show the face? Okay, Sam is just flexing. She's like, look at the bosses I face. Why should I be scared of a dude from a cult that's too scared to show their face? Um, the reason the Mandalorians don't, it's, it's only like the, um, the, uh, the fanatic Mandalorians, I guess, would be the word. Because there are certain Mandalorians that don't give a fuck, like, uh, Bo-Katan, um, I don't know why I said that with an accent, uh, Boba Fett, uh, some just don't give a fuck. But the Mandalorian section that, are Dan's a part of is called the True Mandalorians. Like, these are people that keep the old tradition alive of... Not letting another living person see your face. Okay, she's flowing, she's flexing. It's true! Look, my favorite characters, for those who may, may, may ask, Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader are my favorite character. I love them both. Uh, they're the same character, but people count them as separate. Um, but I... Number one. So, Darth Vader, Anakin Skywalker, slash Anakin Skywalker is my number one favorite. Boba Fett's my second favorite character. I love Boba Fett ever since I was a boy. Ever since I was a boy. I went to my local library and they had one of the few Star Wars books they had were these Boba Fett books. And I would rent them all the time. So, Boba kind of became like one of my favorite characters. Uh, so, I was very excited when Boba came back from the dead. And I was even more excited to see at the end of Mando Season 2, coming next year, the book of Boba Fett. And 
Dan kind of stole my boy's thunder, and I, 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 this is why Dan dropped lower on my rankings. Like that, I'm a little, I'm still salty about that. So yeah, I'm giving Samus that this. That's a good one. All right, they're all drawn. Okay, that's a good shot. Uh, Grogu definitely carried the show, but the show just had good writing. But still a good diss. Uh, call me the Sarlacc, this Mandalorian getting ate up. Uh, the Sarlacc pit is what Boba fell into. If you go by Legends, Boba fell into it two more times. <laughs> he has a real fucking weakness to it. Okay, look, I'm about to piss off so many people, but I agree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sequel fan. I'm sorry. I love Episode 7, though. Don't get me wrong. Love Episode 7. Force Awakens was awesome. I just didn't care for the next two. But, but, I'm excited to see what they do with these characters further, like Ray and Finn. I'm excited to see like where they take them next with Ray's new movie. So, hopefully they make up for them. But I'm giving Samus that diss as well. That's three. That's three good shots right there. Taking Grogu ain't wise. Fans will jump you like Jason Sudeikis. Taking Grogu ain't wise. Fans will jump you like Jason Sudeikis. I can't remember what Jason Sudeikis did with Grogu, but I do remember hearing something. Guys, with his power, I don't you can take him. I mean, he is a Jedi. I, I know he's not technically a Jedi for somebody jumps down my throat, but he has the force. At least I was able to keep him alive. Your baby Metric got blown to bits, saving your worthless life. Ooh, he's like, at least I was able to keep my baby alive. Yours got blown to bits, saving your worthless life. That's a that's a fucking dirty one. You lose your power ups before you start a mission, and I'll get three more seasons before Prime Four is finished. I'll get three more seasons before Prime Four is finished. Mm, 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 mm. He cooking. Nowadays your games are not worth spending the credits. I the credits is Star Wars money. Just flame your ass, just like Ridley did your parents. I'll flame your ass, just like Ridley did your parents. Ridley fucked up Samus's parents. Is that all? You ever suck like a Metroid? Don't be. Uh, Metroids, they suck. So that's a rebuttal. She's like, don't compare parents like what happened when you met droids. Uh, Dan's planet and parents were wiped out in the in the droid war. The clone wars, technically, but they were fought clones versus droids. So it was more of... It, it, it's known as the clone wars, but I don't know where I was getting with that. But it it's known as the Clone Wars, but it was droids that wiped them out. I'm trying to think, there was another way. There was another. Oh, the Republic versus the Separatists. That was the other name I was thinking of. Okay, so, just so you know, I'm not a dumbass. It was the Republic versus the Separatists. Whenever you are taking the dark side, you gotta see your best star stuff, but you still go down in one shot. Okay, uh. I think that dark saber you got after I beat you. This is a reference to how the dark saber is passed down. You do not, you cannot, one cannot just take the dark saber. It has to be earned in combat. You have to beat the guy that holds the dark saber to get it. I'm no damsel in distress. I'm always flying solo. Okay, Samus, I'll give her that. She's no damsel in distress. She's always out here in the fucking smoke. She's like Doomslayer. She she wants the smoke. Always riding solo. Is that a reference to Han Solo? You always seem to save him many times in the show. You get kicked. He doesn't need saving time to time. The Razor Crest, R.I.P. to the Razor Crest. Quote, Quill, I have spoke. Uh, reference to Quill was one of the characters he met in season one, R.I.P. Quill. Uh, voiced by Nick Nolte, uh, and the uh, I have spoken, that was like the main thing that Quill would say after every sentence was, I have spoken. <laughs> There's Grogu in the middle. He's just happy to be there. I love that. I love that a lot. Uh, that made me happy. Um, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 battle. One of the better Din uh, Jarn battles I've seen. Like, b -Lo does a hell of a Din impression. I just want to say, b -Lo, Flowers to you. That was a hell of a Din impression. Now... This is a close battle. Admittedly, it's a it's a close battle. But I'm going to go Mando. I think Mando clutched in that second half. I think his disses were just a little bit more disrespectful. 
Even though I agree with some of Samus's lines, I do think Dan was being a little bit more personal. And that's just how you win a battle. You know, the more low down and dirty you are, the more you're going to win. So, I'm going to go Dan Jaren as the winner of this battle. Let me know who you guys thought won in the comments below. Big shout outs to B uh, Below. Big shout outs to Claire. Go check them out. And definitely go watch this battle. That way you don't have to hear me talk over it. And absorb it for yourself because I know I'll be rewatching. By the way, that's badass art. That is fucking awesome. I wish I had the talent of drawing. I don't have it. But, that's enough of me rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And as always, this is the way. I'll see you in the next one. You can come in warm or you can come in cold.